Well, how do the chums? So, chums, at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to dig out a pond. So, I've been digging. I've been digging with my terrain manipulator. And look at that. We have hit the bottom. But is it water? No, it's freaking bedrock. I didn't get to see any waves, didn't get to see any water. And this is the lowest part I can freaking reach. Dang it. So my whole plan of having my own pond to put my skiff in near to a um, trading post is not going to freaking work for quick selling of objects. All right. And this, yeah, this is still in my base confines. Look, I could put a teleporter there if I wanted to. But yeah, yeah that's as far as I could go as well. So anyway... That stuff's that idea, doesn't it? But at least I didn't stuff up too much of your time. I have got another cunning plan. Yes, it involves going up to the old uh, space anomaly, the Nexus, whatever you want to call it. I'll see you up there, people. Okay, chums, this is part two of my cunning plan. I'm talking to Celine, the tongue flicky type chick in the actual Netflix, in the Nexus. Anyway, I'm going to grab the hazmatic gauntlets, not because I want them, because I want the thing that's underneath them. Let's interact again. Hello there, Celine. Right, go into here. I want the trade rocket. The trade rocket. I need two wiring looms. I'm going to have to go to a station to get some wiring looms. But that is not a problem. I'm thinking about putting all of my fish that I've got inside of a trade rocket and launching them into the heavens. Yes, that's... I, I know it's crazy, but that, that's what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm going to pop on over to a station and get my two wiring looms from the Galactic Trade Terminal. So I'll see you there. Okay, I've arrived at Kated. It's still in the same system. I'm going to buy the two wiring looms. Buy wiring looms. Where are you? Two of them. One, two. Oh, one, two. And back on my shoe. Seriously, well, what on can I sell in my suit inventory then to make room for them? Let's have a quick look, see, shall we? Could probably sell one of those. I've got enough. Yeah, there we go. Buy. Now I can buy my two wiring looms, which I'm going to use almost immediately. Anyway, so here we go. Let's put that in. Zap, zap, and zap. I might as well put in the hazmat gauntlets while I'm at it, if I can afford to. Ah. Need sodium of the nitrate variety. I don't know whether I've got any sodium to spin into. Oh, I have got 40 sodium, actually. Let's uh, grab that. Pick that up. Go over to my exosuit. Why wouldn't it let me put it inside of there? What's going on right now? Ah, we've got pyrite in there right now. Okay, cool. All right, might as well take that out. And we will put in that sodium. Where are you, sodium? Sodium, will I get 20 from it? I will, in eight seconds. Lovely jubbly. Up a chow. Now we can get the hazmat gauntlets in anyway. Not that we overly need them, but why the fudge not? Okay, cool. Let's uh, get those installed and located. Done, dilly, and done. Now I'm thinking of using that trade rocket to launch my fish into space. You see those white nodules on my legs? Uh, I I'm wondering where I can make them red. I'll oh, be a second, people. I can! And they're red. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Right, let's um, let's head on into the portal then. Let's go to my base. Lovely. Jubbly. Your bases. And I'm going to go to Two Hot Two Pots. Heck yeah, we're going there. Uh, chicka -boo. Right, now there is one snag with this idea sometimes okay it's a bit of, it's a bit of a slag sometimes when you launch your trade rocket it blows up oh, yeah all right i need to squirrel away some stuff into my ship first or sort out my ship at the very least anyway yeah give me a sec okay chums i made a little bit of space inside of my ship and then i thought well i might as well just launch everything using my trade rocket. So here comes my trade rocket. Right, let's grab some bits out of here. Ah, I can only get a few things in here, but let's get my most valuable ones first. Let's do the A classes, shall we? Mm. Okay, we've already got one then that we're going to put in there for now. Okay, trade rocket. How much can I launch in my trade rocket? We can put him in. Um, we can put in those weird potato looking gits. Maybe the living pearls. The Hadel cores. 
Um, I want to keep the Trident Keys in case I've got to do any underwater missions. I'll stick you in there, whatever that is. A fish pie, fudge it. That can go as well, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just put in a load of junk now that I just want to clear up some space. We need those. We can get rid of that, I guess. Um, the salt, maybe. Oh, let's send that cursed object into space as well. The repair kit, I haven't needed it. Let's hope I don't need it. Okay. Uh, I'll send one of those refiners. There we go. I think that's probably enough, isn't it? Let's send that first of all, and then I can put a load of fish in here, and we'll send it again if it's successful. Oh, hold on. I don't have to send it straight away. Let's get some more fish out of here. Lovely, lovely. I'll have you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Okay, that's probably going to fill my trade rocket now. Let's just hope it doesn't explode. If it explodes, I might cry. Oh, there we go. Launch rocket. Okay. Before I launch it, let's have a quick look. See if my money's worth goes up. Are you going to go? There it goes. Zoom. Off it goes. And that's going to bank me a load of cash. Goodbye, trade rocket. Zoom. Okay, can I do another one now? I don't know whether there's a cooldown on it. <laughs> I've never used it before, people. I used it the first day that they put it in the game. And I haven't used it since. Okay, here we go. Let's go grab a load of B classes then. I think this is... I think this is... I found a new reason to have a trade rocket now for fishing. Who would have thought it? You know... I don't think you're ever going to go to your local lake and see the local fishermen doing this. It'd make fishing frickin' more interesting though, wouldn't it? I might even partake. Okay, right. So that's going to net me like 200,000. We're nearly done. We've nearly got the end badge. Okay, let's get all the B classes in here as well then. I might as well just go do all the C classes now. Might as well go to... I mean, I don't need any of this stuff, do I? Oh, something that John Dojo told me is really what you should do is before you go and launch them all into space or sell them, is uh, put them in the nutrient processor because then you get given new recipes for stuff. You don't actually spin them into anything. So this is what he was saying. Let me, um, let me get a nutrient processor quickly. So he's saying if you go over to the nutrient processor, right? I haven't tested this yet. And you get one of your fish and put it in there. Even if you don't make it, you still get the recipe. Apparently. Maybe I've already done that one. Let's try this guy. Shell puree. Hmm. Well, it, it didn't. It didn't, give, it didn't give me the recipe. Let's just turn them into shell puree. Let's see if we get the recipe now. Don't know. And maybe it did. But yeah, he says to just spin them into stuff in here just to get the new recipes on lots or whatever. Like there, yeah, snail fillet and all that sort of stuff. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, that, that's that kind of done. I might as well send off the rest of them, might I? So we go. Trade rocket. Here it comes, I think. In its own time. Whoa! Has it landed? Yes. Well, none of them have exploded yet. This has been good. Right out. And yeah, that's pretty much ready to launch there, I think. Yep. Yep, that that that'll do. Off you go, trade rocket. I I do like watching it take off actually. It's pretty good, isn't it? Zoom! It's like a giant freaking firework. Just don't explode. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? Okay, right. Well, we've made our money's worth. We sold freaking loads. Heck yes. Brilliant. Okay, better head back up my jetty. I'm getting a bit soaked there. Okay, well, that was that was cool. Right, what's next then? Uh, right, so we've got to go to this last destination point. Let's do that then. 
Let's take to the skies, my little ship, the Celeste Day. Go. Yeah. Now, there is an encrypted mission. I hope I didn't go and launch something that I needed. Into space. <laughs> no, my luck. Probably have. Oh, you needed to have a turtle. Yeah. Well, freaking great. Yeah, yeah. And we're at our final rendezvous point, and our final secret fishing point. I'm heading on down! I guess I am, but am I locked on to the marker? Or am I locked on to the lighthouse base? I'm locked onto the lighthouse base. Fudge! Right, okay. Secret fishing spot five! I don't think it's that secret. There's bases all around it. There we go. Go to go. Well, let's head on down. The price is right! Okay, I can't see anything glaringly obvious as where the last fishing spot is. There seems to be comms balls under the water. So I might as well just land here and we'll see what happens with our advisor. Cool! Let's jump on out then. I've landicated. I say landicated. I've waterocated! Yes, there's no land underneath me. Right. 400 U's this way. Now, in real life, ocean this deep, I would actually be brown trousering myself going into water that deep, knowing that there could be great whites, tiger sharks, bull sharks, any kind of sharks, basically, that might want to nibble the very tasty Steve that I've just put into said water. You know? I don't get that feeling inside of No Man's Sky. And part of me wishes that we kind of did, you know? I think underwater giant monster fauna should be on the cards. Now I have got a trident key. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna dig up this. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a chest. I'm gonna have a chest, people. I know it's not part of what I'm doing, but you know, I've got a trident key, so why the fudge not? Oh, fudge, I went and got rid of my blinking 13 pearls or whatever I did, didn't I? Oh, balls. Okay. Is there any clams near here? Oh, well, it's not part of the mission, is it? So it doesn't really matter. Right, cool. We got that, then. I knew I'd sold something I should have kept, though. Right. Let's get that in. Oh, yeah. Dang it, and look, oh, there is a clam just there. I could go there and quickly come back again. I'll do that in my own time, though, people. I'm back, and I've got my pearl. Let's jiggle the pearl into there. And boom, I got myself a perfectly smooth crystal in a lovely treasure chest. Yes, that's what I just got. That was worth doing, wasn't it? Right, let's get out of here. Let's go get some oxygen. Ah, isn't that lovely? Okay, jumps. Well, we're back into it. And um, I've got to now land a message from the angular. So I find the best way to do this is to debate your law. Don't have anything on it. The first cast, though, I think it still thinks you've got the last bait that you had on there. Because I tend to get a fairly good fish, first of all. I don't get the freaking bottle on my first fish but mm, that probably proved me wrong now i'll probably get the bottle straight away let's have a look check a bar no there we go got rock fin all right okay well i'll carry on until i get the bottle people um i've got no bait on and i just caught this it's freaking rare how okay this game never ceases to amaze yeah, cool, yeah. Back at it. Well, this isn't something I've had before. Ossified coral, a piece of flotsam wrenched up from years of drifting in the water when it became entangled in the fish law. Of little use to anyone. Very nice. What we need is some sort of hermit type NPC on planet, maybe, and like a little fishing shack, an NPC fisherman that we can take all this flopsam too. And he's like, oh my God, this is amazing. You know, a bit like Cronus, where he just rates your flopsam. So although it's useless to every single other person in the whole universe, you know, like they say, one man's junk is another man's treasure. 
I've got no bait and I've just caught an uncommon fish. What the flying fudge is going on? Anyway, I think that's a good idea. What do you think? Sound off in the comments. Let me know. Okay, chums, not just once, but twice, my skiff went up and down on the waves so badly that I had my rod in the water, I slid off the back and fell in the freaking drink. So I'm standing on my ship now because it's more sturdier than my skiff. The thing that was actually made for fishing can be a little bit useless sometimes for, for freaking fishing. I still haven't managed to get this angler's blinking note in a bottle either. Come on. Oh, nearly. Boom. Yes, we're in. Fish on or bottle on. Be a bottle. Don't be a fish. Dang it. It's a fish. Okay. I think that's probably about what eight or nine fishes later. I got it. Got the freaking bottle. Okay. Righto. Let's um let's get this then. Where the fudge is it? There it is. Unseal. And read it, don't like where's the note? Oh there it is. The fire has faded from my catch scales, and my dreams have soured. I thrash through the night, my skin itches. Damp and clammy, salt seeps from my pores. It longs to be free. I cannot keep it controlled like this. It must be free. I must be free. Is he turning into a freaking fish? What's going on here? This is weird. Okay, right. Well, oh dear, I've just fell off my ship. I'm wondering if I can put my trade rocket on my ship. And I, I, it probably isn't a thing. Um, no, can't land there. Uh, I was going to attempt it on my skiff, but no. All right, anyway, we'll send out another trade rocket as soon as we're able. Free up my inventory. OK, what else we got then? Find the angler's legacy. Haul in the angler's legacy. Tentacle figurine plans. How am I supposed to do that then when it's at home? Let's find the fiery scales of the angler's legacy. Locate a suitable body of water and cast with R2. Well, this is a suitable body of water, maybe. But I think, you know, that portal code that was on the... Um, well, this, this ends in a very similar portal code anyway. Let's... um. Let's see if it's this planet. Go on. I think the portal code is a bit of a clue, though. Go on. You know you want. Go, on. go, 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 little fishy. There we go. Oh, no. Maybe I reeled in too early. Dang it. And it's night time. I don't know whether it's going to show up at night time. I don't know whether it's going to show up right away either. You know, there's not much of a clue to go by, is there, really? Well, that's not it, obviously. All right, one second, people. Wait me a moment. Yeah, that portal code is not the portal code that I got from one of the messages in a bottle. I don't know whether we can read the messages in a bottle from here, but look, there's that message in a bottle that's got that portal code in it. And that one, is that the same? Waypoint, sunset, eclipse. Waypoint, sunset, bird eclipse. And they're not even the same. There's another one there. That's not the same either. So we've got three different portal locations. I think it's going to be on here. Because it's saying locate a suitable body of water and cast in. Is there anything else that I can go by on here? The angle's fired. Yeah, okay. The fire has faded from my captain's scales. My dreams have soured. I thrash through the night. Well, it's night time right now. Okay. Um, let's put on the night bait. Let's see if we get anything. Okay, I'll let you know if I get lucky. Okay, chums, there's an incoming storm right now. Now, people have told me to try swapping out the bait to the storm bait whenever there's a storm. And they've been catching S-classes. So, bionic lore... I think this is it here. Bionic Law. No, maybe it's not that one then. Maybe it is this one here. The Magnetic Pulse. Attracts storm-loving fish. Okay. And we've got a storm that's approaching. It's not like a, a really intense storm though. So, we shall see. 
Oh, actually, that is hitting me pretty hard. Let's see what we get. Okay. That one's not quite what I was after. There is another mission, though, inside of here to catch so many fish in a storm. So here we go. Let's try it. Now, I don't want to use all this bait because I kind of want to be able to duplicate it if it works quite nicely. Should have done that first, really, shouldn't I? Because I'm already down to 16 now. Okay, and that's not quite doing it. And this isn't really an extreme storm planet. What does it take to craft more of that bait type, anyway? Okay, it's quite hard to make. I need magnetic resonators. Fudge. Okay, I'll let it get down to something like 10, maybe. And then um, i better quit fishing in the storm and make more of them. Come on! Come on! Gotcha! Uncommon. Caught only drawing a storm. I think I've got one of those now, and I think I've got to catch three, right? Yeah, we caught one. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some more storm bait. Oh, my days, people. This planet is beautiful. Beautiful! Look at it! Beautiful in the daytime. Holy fudge, I had no idea. Right, well, um, I think I might put a little base down on here and make a nice little fishing hut here. Because this is, this is quite a nice little place to actually fish. This looks quite scenic here. This will do. All right. Okay, leave it with me. I'll be on a nice little base and I'll reconvene in a moment. Okay, Jobs, I just made a very simple base. Just a little jetty. A couple of auto fishes or whatever they are, those little pod things. Right, well, let's um, let's go back to this then trying to catch the angler's legacy okay the angler yearned for freedom dredged up of which remains locate a suitable body of water and start fishing okay well here we go then um i better put on some bait of some kind i guess i'm thinking maybe since it's a rare fish then maybe we go for the rare fish law which is this one this one gives me a good chance of catching something awesome okay Let's do this. Up a chow. Let's just hope we get it. We could be here a while. I'll let you know if I catch anything interesting. Well, I've caught something interesting. I don't think it's it. I did just jump over to Reddit while I've been doing some fishing to find out where people caught it. And some people even caught it in the auto traps. On this planet. One other person said they caught it in the first rendezvous system. So, another person said that he was at it for five hours. Five hours! Insane! Well, you know what, chums? I'm going to be on this planet for some time because I'm going to wait for another storm to roll in, then use my storm baits and see if we can get the storm one done anyway. So hopefully, one will happen before the other. The storm's going to roll in, or hopefully I catch this legendary fish beforehand. But we're going to alternate between the two quests anyway. Come on! Get on that line, you little git. Here we go! Is this it? Go on, be it! No, but I caught another one of those rare kiddies. Nice one. Okay, well, that's another rare fish, but it's not the one I'm after. Now, it's just turned to night time, so I'm going to swap the bait out. I'm going to swap the bait for the night bait, and we catch a few night fish. Hopefully a storm will roll in, and I'll swap to the storm bait. Let's see if we can just catch some night fish. I don't know whether this is a night fish or what, so who knows. Go on, let's, I'll just show you the first catch. I'm actually finding this really relaxing anyway. I'm kind of enjoying this. It's pretty darn cool. Make it a little bit larger on the screen there. And we've got a shrieking oyster. It's rare. It's quite nice. Cool. I'll be back in a mo. Okay, chums, there's a storm coming, so I'm just going to catch this last fish. And I found out that I actually had haptics turned off. I turned them on. It's a little bit better now. It's a lot better, in fact. There we go. Cool. Okay, right. Well, let's uh, swap out the bait then for the storm bait. 
Oh, okay. That's probably because I'm full of fish, isn't it? Let's just get rid of one fish. Go on, I need to swap this out quickly. I want to make the most use of the storm. And there's my storm baits, the mega pulse. Let's get this in the water. And I might as well swap to this one here. Just so we can see what we catch. There we go. We've only got to catch two more. Oh, we're in. Uncommon. Shallower waters. I don't know whether that one counted. Didn't. Let's get back in there then, because these storms don't last long on this planet. Now I've got the haptics. I can see, I, I can feel it in the storm anyway, so that's all good. Little nudge, little nudge. Oh no, I struck too early. Fudge! It's usually on the third one, isn't it? Sometimes it's four. Sometimes it can even be five. Come on. I've had it on the first one a couple of times as well. Like that. There you go. That was the first time. Are you a storm one? Caught at night? Not storm though. Come on, stormy fish. Oh dear, my hazard protection's taken a beating. Oh, my inventory's going to be full in a minute though. Dang it! My ship's out of range as well. Yeah, I knew that was going to freaking happen. Damn. Okay, come on, trade rocket. Oh, come on, it takes forever. Land, dang you. Okay, right, let's get all these fish in there. I don't know whether I need all of that. I can send that up in the rocket as well. There we go, that do. Launch rocket. Okay. Pop that in there. Oh, I've actually got two or three. I only need to catch one more storm fish. Come on. Oh, my hazard protection's getting low. There you go. Quickly recharge that. Come on. Come on, storm fish. Go on, be a storm fish. Hatch landed. Is he a storm fish? No, he's not a storm fish. Back into the water. Come on. The race against the storm. Riders and the storm. Until this world we're thrown. Yeah, I do like the doors. No! The storm's clearing. Come on, one more fish, come on. Come on, be the stormfish, be the stormfish. I don't think that's a stormfish. It's not a stormfish. Alright. Well back to this one then. And back to my rare baits. And we'll wait until another storm comes round, and hopefully I get lucky next time. All right, well, there's no rush. And I'm kind of enjoying this anyway, so it's all good. Still night time, so let's just continue getting some night fish then, shall we? See you in a bit, people. I'll jump back to the other camera, um, that one. And I'll reconvene in a bit. Now, on the Reddit, they did say they were using spicy chum, and that was you know, bringing in the rare fish. So, there we go. I'll swap to that for now, people. Well, I've been fishing all night, people. It's now the day. Though the sun has risen upon this glorious lake, where I am fishing for the fish of legend, the angler's legacy will be mine. In this world or the next. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's, that's not it. But that's quite lustrous and lovely, isn't it? You may have noticed I'm now standing on the skiff. So, I've been reading a few Reddit posts, wondering why I haven't caught this fish. Knowing full well that some people have taken five hours, but in the end they did actually catch it. Ah, well, we shall see. I mean, I haven't been here for five hours. I've been here for one day and one night in game time. So far. Okay. It is what it is. Patience is a virtue, people. 
Now, because it's a picture of an octopus, I'm wondering whether my little pond is too shallow. I'm wondering whether we've got to do this in deep ocean. You know, like how the big sharks, they, they wouldn't spawn in a little pond like this, would they? I'm wondering if I'm in the wrong place. I mean, I have been doing this for quite some time now. Yeah, all right, let's, um, let's move my ship over yonder hill. And uh, let's, um, let's try a deeper ocean, I think, people. Thank you. Okay, right, so there's hardly any. Oh, okay. Not too deep there, is it, really? It is just over there. I landed just a little bit too soon. Let's just take off just a teeny bit. Oh, I could have just put down my skiff, come to think of it, couldn't I? Let's just move over here just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I think here looks deep. That do. Yeah, that's better. Okay, right. Now if I bring out my little skiffity skiff. Stick that there. Yep. I'll jump on over to the skiff. And we've still got the rare bait on. And we've still got the right mission selected. We do. Let's give it a go. Plop. In the water it is. In the drink. Come on. Is it going to be the very first fish I pull out of the ocean? Have I just cracked it? I've got the angler's rod. I'm on the skiff. I'm on the last planet. I'm in the deepest of ocean. All the boxes are now ticked. Now I've just got to catch a bloody fish. Come on! Be the fish! Oh! Oh! I've got a hypnotic octopus. At least it looks more like the... I've not caught... In the whole time I was in that pond, I didn't catch a bloody octopus. So, hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. I'll carry on. Look at the reflections of the creatures in the sky on the waters. Oh, that, that's a big hologram of a fish. That's a massive hologram of a fish. Oh, and another one. And it... Oh, I've got a big one on. Is this one going to be it? Come on. Oh, it's taken ages to bank. Ah, it's a stingray, stingray. But banner, banner, stingray, stingray. Gums. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. This is it. The angler. Legendary fish. Fire dances across the scales of this impossible marine being. Its starlit eyes stare back at you with meaning far deeper than any fish should know. As they stare, the world around you fades away. The sound of water fills your ears. I want to be free. You want to be free. Heck yes! We got him! We got him! And I got him standing on the skiff with this rod. And I was using the spicy chum thing. So you go. I was using that. And it was just as the sun went down and the night started to come through. So if I have a look at the time of day, maybe that has a bearing on it. It was a wooden brown around about the 7 of the PMs. There we go, people. That's how I caught him. Sweet. Now I've got to wait for a storm to roll in. Get the storm bait on the hook. And we'll be catching our last storm fish. Thank yes. Epic music. Definitely need the epic music playing right now. Thank yes. I'll stick that in there. So I think that's given me the blueprint to put the little octopus in my ship, hasn't it? Where are you, Blueprint? Oh, I haven't claimed it yet. Ah! This keeps happening, though. When there is a storm, the squit, the skiff, goes squiffy. I've fallen in the water a few times. I don't know whether this is a storm, but it freaking feels like one. Okay, right. Well, let's, um... Let's get the storm bait. Oh, no, I don't want to put him on the freaking hook. Heck no. Okay, right. Let's put this on. Let's see if I can attract a storm fish. And there isn't even a storm. Let's see. Come on. Let's see. I haven't tried this. Be nice if it works. Saves hanging about for a bloody storm to roll in, doesn't it? 
Let's make myself a little bit larger on the screen while we do this. Come on. Hiya! Reel him in! Down -o. Book him! Okay. Nope. Let's try again. Slapperjack. I'll, I'll be back with you if I actually catch a storm fish when there isn't a storm. Okay, chums. Yeah, I'll just pop the badge. And yeah, it's giving me the tentacle thingy there. Let's see if I can install that in my shipty ship. Let's see what it takes to install it. Just a bit of carbon. It's in. I just felt my rod twitch, so... Myths of the Deep complete. What the fudge just happened there? Oh, okay. Catch one legendary fish, which was that one. So we've got a double pop. The only thing we've got to do is catch a fish in the storm, isn't it? Okay. Well, that we can do, people. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, that was my legendary fish as well. Okay. Double pop. Nice. like it when that happens. I don't know whether fishing with this multi-pulse law is going to act like there is a storm. I could be wasting it, but I have got 291, so it's worth an experiment. And it's a worthwhile experiment, because it means you could catch a storm fish on a planet that has no storms. Which kind of makes sense that you'd get a law that does that. Okay, let's see. Come on. Hiya! And come on. Oh, it's a big one. Very big. Catch landed. Temperate habitat. No. Maybe I should just wait for a storm to roll in. Oh, the waves are getting bigger, though. Well, chums, I think I'm going to wait for a storm to roll in rather than continue. I've used up, like, what, five or six of these now. And no stormfish right yet. So might as well go back to the game view. Might as well stow away the fish that I have got inside of this box. So I'm ready for stormfish. Don't want it to say inventory is far. Might keep him in there though, because he's glorious. What? It's only worth 1,600 units. These are worth. That one's worth a lot freaking more. You're a con. You're freaking con. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's just wait for the storm to roll in. The only thing is, is this skiff really goes squiffy when there's a storm. So I might jump back onto my um, hauler. The only trouble is, if there's a tornado, I'll get ripped off the top of that. Well, you don't on here, but waves will knock me off of this. It's a bit swings and roundabouts. This is more like a swing, to be fair. Where if I stay on there, it's more like a roundabout if a tornado hits. Yeah, I'm just talking fluff now, people. Now... If I wanted to go to a planet that's got more regular storms, I should go to this ringed planet because this one's temperate. And look, it hasn't got anything that's activated or magnetized. This has got magnetized ferrite. The storms are going to be far more frequent and last a lot longer. I'm, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to that ringed planet because I could be standing around here for some time waiting for a storm to roll in. Let's just take to the skies and let's just let's go and have a look. Oh, we'll see if it's any quicker. Okay, I've arrived. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my skiff as close to this island as possible. And I'm hoping that the waves don't knock it all over the shop. Oh, come on. Freaking settle down, mate. It's all over the shop. Why? Thank you. Right. Stay still. Settle down. Okay, right, there we go. Let's get on. Okay, we're on the skiff. No, we're not. You know what? I might I might just not bother with the skiff at this rate. <laughs> okay, there we are. We're on the skiff. Right, now I've just got to do is just wait for a storm to roll in. I've already stowed all my fish. So that's good. You know what I could do? I could launch all the fish into space while I'm waiting, couldn't I? Yeah, I could do that. So let's call in my old um, trade rocket. Yeah, I'll stick it there. What? Insufficient for y'all? Is that a thing? How do, I, how do I refuel it then? Oh, I've never had to do this. Okay. Well, that's new. Well, it's new to me. You guys probably knew. Okay, stick that there. Let's get our fish to send into space. You're going on a trip, my little fishy friends. Yes. 
can go see the solar system. Oh, lucky and joy of joys. Okay, can I interact for it from my skiff? That'd be nice. Oh, don't fall over, rocket. Oh, fudge. I don't know how well this is going to go. We will find out. Well, I'll put the bigger in there as well. Oh, no, I better keep him. I think I keep him. We'll send that, though. We'll send the cursed object. This might not go well. Okay. I mean, it's got a cursed object in it as well. Okay, where is it? Where is my rocket? I don't see it. Don't say it's under my skiff. It's under my skiff. Holy fudge. I thought that was going to knock me flying then. Bang fudge. Well, it's off and it's gone. Didn't blow up. Here we go. Incoming storm. All right, we better get ready with our rod. Okay, I'm too busy messing about with trade rockets. Yep, we've got the right bait on. And we've got our rig. Let's get it out there. hop a chow Come on, Stormfish. You versus me. Yes, man versus beast. Let's, um, let's make it a bit larger on the old screen so you can see how excited I get if I actually manage to get this bloody fish. Come on. I was excited when I got the octopus, though, weren't I? I mean, that was amazing. Come on. Nope. Oh, there's a big fish just right by my boat right now. He's a big freaking critter, isn't he? Okay, here we go. Lucky I've managed to turn haptics on. Me being a freaking idiot, that's what that was. Basically, I turned off screen vibrate and haptics when I was doing my news video the other week because my screen kept shaking and I kept moving on the desk inside of the news video, you know? Oh man, this storm is freaking insane. Get it back out there. Where I've placed a skiff and jarred it against the island has worked a treat. I'm not bobbing all over the place. This is good. Come on. Little vibration. Prolonged vibration, there we go. And come on. Oh, come on. Man alive! It's taking time and a half. Come on. Oh dear. Come on. I thought the skiff protected you against any weather or any storm, but... Mm. There we go. What have we got? Catch landed, caught in the storm, and it's uncommon. I think we've just gone and frickin' done it. Yes, we have. Fins of thunder, fresh fish caught, drawing a storm. We've got the triumphant music, people in the view of us. Heck yes, we do. Yes, awesome. Let's go on over to the expedition tab. Let's hit that. Sweet. 400 quicksilver banked. Nice. Awesome. And now we can claim this badge, which gives us the title of Fisher, the Aquarius decor plans and the Aquarius banner. What I haven't got right now is hazard protection. There we go. Let's get that sorted out quickly. Let's top that one back up. And are you ready for the final phase reward? We're going to click it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get triumphant music and we're going to get the Aquanauts backpack type thing. There we go. We've completed the expedition. I guess. Except a Mondo. Yes. Cool. Right, well, let's go and put on this jetpack. Freaking customization. Let's get on the island. Let's call our ship in. Let's get off this forsaken planet. Because I really can't see Toffee. <laughs> I'm so happy that I managed to do that, people. This last phase is really random numbers but what i would say is get yourself over to this this planet here for your three storm fish because the storms here are freaking insane they look really cool as well and look i got my little i got my little octopus on the dash look at him he's freaking great isn't he okay here we go there he goes waving his tentacles around it's lovely i don't know what his perks are for him or anything like that we head on in and we're going to get the last of the uh Ensemble, which is the underwater jetpack, which looks pretty darn freaking lovely. And I'm probably going to wear it, I think, for a little while. Yeah, why not? It's um, pretty cool. 
I like this. I like this setup. It's quite nice. And uh, you know what? I'm actually fairly excited to do a little bit of fishing in VR in my own game. Do I want to complete the whole fishing catalogue? Probably not. No. I think there needs to be more reasons to do fishing, to be fair. Let's head on over. Let's just go stick this backpack on, shall we? And we'd end off the expedition. I may as well. There's no community event to tie me in here, is there? Head on over here. And backpack. And it's the latest one, which is this one. The Aquarius flight pack. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That is pretty beautiful, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Oh, that is, that is gnarly. Oh, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Zoom. Heck yes. Oh, I like. Right, well, I better jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save, even though I'm about to jump back to my legacy save. And uh, I think from there onwards, I'll probably do a little bit of a... I don't know, do I do a separate video? Or should I just tag it on to the end of this? Cool. There you are. For claiming the rewards in my legacy save, you know? Well, I might do a separate video. For I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, let's head on over here. We've got everything we can get inside of here. So this final part over here, yeah, I might as well sort of act like it's a new video or something, might I? So, there we go. Well, how do that, people that are joining me for this sort of like little impromptu video? I'm just going to show you how to claim all this gear in your legacy save. So here we go. Let's head on over to this terminal over here. Boom. Lovely jubbly. And I've still got a load of cack in there already, which, to be fair, I might as well take out. And then I can put it back in so I don't lose the things that I want to keep, if I want to keep any of this, which, to be fair, most of this I don't really want to keep. So there you go, just ending off the expedition because it's completed now. So I'm just going to end ex expedition. And let's see what sort of stuff I get. Look at all those units. I wonder if it's going to count how many fish I freaking caught. Because I caught over 100 fish. Over 100 fish. I don't know whether they're going to have added that in. Yeah, only three words learned. Yeah, they should add in fish since it was a fishing freaking expedition. I, and plus, I'm curious how many fish I actually caught. Because trying to catch those legendary ones at the end, mental. Oh, okay. No, it's not going to tell me how many fish I caught. Darn! You missed a trick, Hello Games! Okay. Sweet. All right, well, that's that then. Finish the expedition. It should come up with my save thing now, this thing. Yeah. And uh, that's pretty much there I think isn't it hmm interesting how long has R2D2 been there he's sitting on my little table desk I was going to hold him up at the end you know where I do my dancing I'm going to hold him up I'll stick him there instead for now stay he's been photobombing me all this bloody time okay so i'm back inside my main save and i've still got all this gear on i'm pretty cool okay and i don't think i put anything into the terminal to take back into game with me did i and that's actually ended now there we go so yeah that's pretty much it i could have took stuff out of the expedition which i was supposed to have done I don't know whether I can do a reload to sort of um, restore that. No, there's no last restore point or anything like that. So, yeah, I threw barred the end of that up. So, <laughs> don't do that. Make sure you take everything you want from the expedition. If I could have took anything, I probably would have took all the messages from the bottles. Because then it's lore and stuff like that. And I like to keep the lore. Although the lore in this one wasn't too tight anyway. So, I'm not too fussed about leaving those behind. They would have just took up storage spaces for a, forever and a day. So anyway, let's head on over to here. And I don't think that law was related to the Void Mother or anything like that. And here you can collect expedition rewards. And there you go. I can pick it all up anyway over here. Lovely jubbly. Done. And I'm not going to collect him because I haven't got a free pet slot. Hello, games. If you're listening, we're out of pet slots. And with the amount of ship rewards you've given us as well, we're getting quite low on ship slots, especially with ship customization. 
Okay, cool, yeah. It'd be nice if we could build like a shipyard or something at our base, somewhere to, like a garage or something to screw all of our ships away. So anyway, people, that's kind of how you, um, you know, end up the expedition. I completely balls it up, so I'm probably not going to make a separate video out of this, come to think of it. But that's how you claim all your stuff anyway, after you've actually ended off in your legacy save. So at least I've got all those posters to put up. And inside this ship now, if I wanted to, I can put that lovely little tentacly heady dude in there, you know? There you go, we've got him in there now. The two boosted slots there I'm not taking advantage of. I think I was going to put photon cannons next to them. And again, I could just move that there for now. Oh, this is this is a pretty poor layout, to be fair, isn't it? What What's that doing there? Okay, well, let's move that there. Put that on there. That there. Oh, okay, this is this is proper messy. There we go. Um, I'm going to move that up there. That's slightly better. But it's not good. Oh, yeah. We've got the aqua jets in as well. Oh, I did put the aqua jets in this. That's weird. Okay. And I could do with some landing gear. Oh, look, there's a whole another array there anyway. Anyway, I digress. I'm going off on weird tangents now, messing about with ships. That's the expedition done. Done, diddly, and done. That's all five phases. Thank you very much for watching, people. You've been freaking awesome. That last phase was a stint and a half. But until next time, people, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.